Hey family, thank you so much for returning to I Love Me Me Me. So let's talk about if you are in love or lust with your partner. Stay tuned. All right, family, so love or lust, which one are you in with your partner at this moment? So I have two for lust and four for love. So let's jump right in. So the first one for lust is everything about this person just turns you all the way on and you are in heat per se. Yes, you are sexually aroused every single time you are around this person. Absolutely every single time you're around this person. So the second way to understand and know that you are only in lust with this person is if you still have on the rose colored glasses of this person and nothing, nothing, nothing bothers you or annoys you about this person. They, they could do a whole bunch of farting that just like kills everybody. But you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, he just farted. <laughs> oh, it kind of smells a little bit bad, but not so much. He can fart some more. Or... The very thing that you loved about this person, like they're super ambitious, they work all the time trying to make that money, has not started to annoy you at this point. Because you know that he is out there or she is out there making that money, not thinking that they're not spending enough time with you, but that doesn't bother you right now. And so what we found out is that the very things that start to annoy us about our partner, we loved and didn't mind about them in the very beginning. It didn't bother us in the very beginning, which that is when you are in the lustful stages because the rose colored glasses are on and y'all humping like some dang old rabbits. Okay. <laughs> now let's move on to the mature loving stage of the relationship. The first one is connection. Think about how connected you are with your partner. When you guys speak, are you kind of on the same page about a lot of things? The things that you want in life, are you guys on the same page about that? Whether it's children or not. Whether it's how to raise the children or not. You know, who's going to help clean up if, 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 if both parties are going to help clean up? Rather, just one party. Who's going to decide on the bills? Do you guys like to do the same things? Like, we're homebodies. Me and my fiance, we're homebodies. He's a little bit more of a homebody than me, but anywho, we're both homebodies, right? What connects you to the person other than the sex? If it's only sex, you're still in the lusting stages. The second tip to know that you are in love is that you are constantly using the word we so it's called the we language versus the i language and then you also should hear that your partner is using the we language as well versus the i language this is when you guys are in love with each other the we 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 yes you are starting to speak french <laughs> we we right when you are in love with each other guess what you start to reveal the intimate things about yourself, the really deep things that you like to keep hidden from other people, you are now starting to share these things with your partner. Guess what? You are in love with them if you are sharing the deep things that we like to keep hidden, i.e. the skeletons in our closet. If you are starting to share these most intimate things, even some of the things that happened to you in your childhood that were not so wonderful, or just things that happen to you in your adulthood that were not so wonderful. You, my friend, yes, you are now in the loving stages of your partner. The fourth and final one to understand that you are now in the loving stages of your partner is that both influence one another. Like, okay, let me say, for instance, I want to go for a goal for one of my aspirations. My partner is not taking that from me or discouraging me or telling me, you know, things like, are you sure you can do that? Are you smart enough to do that? Like, why would you want to do that? It doesn't matter if he does not agree with me or vice versa. I'm still cheering, cheering, cheering. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Okay, I'm saying silly. <laughs> But yeah, you are cheering along your partner to let them know that you got their back no matter what. It doesn't matter if you agree or disagree. That does not matter. You are influencing one another to become bigger and better people for the relationship, for one another. 
you are continuously growing together. Absolutely. There is no stunted growth. Relationships are continuously evolving, evolving, evolving. And sometimes we don't like the way the evolving is going, but that does not mean that you stop. That, that, that does not mean that you throw in the towel to say, I'm done with doing this. Because then what else is there? If you're not trying to please your partner, then what else is there? So these are my tips to understand that you are either in love or lust with your partner. Do you agree? Is there something that I missed? Of course, I want to read about it down in the comment section below. I must go because my little one is calling for me. So I will see you again tomorrow. Deuces.